Hey everybody, this is Bradley again here at God's Country Hunting and Fishing. Got something a little bit different we're going to do today. We're going to put a little twist on things. Uh, making a few crappie jigs. I'm going to make a crappie jig and I'm going to go put the boat in the water and I'm going to go catch fish on this crappie jig today. So, uh, something I'm going to show you we're going to make here is a uh, crappie jig out of squirrel tail. We're going to use fox squirrel tail. And I'm going to be confident enough in this jig that we can make this video and go catch us catch a uh, crappie on this squirrel tail today. It's a little bit different than our last video. We made some feather jigs. So today we put a little bit of hard as nails on the shank of this hook. We're going to start out our base with some red thread. So it's a little base on there. What we got here, we got a, uh, it's hard to see in the video, but this is disco orange on the head. I'm going to wrap it for this squirrel tail. It's going to be like a hair jig here. I'm going to wrap it not quite back down to that head. I'm going to take my squirrel tail here. It's an old fox squirrel tail. And I'm going to clip me off some of that tail right there. It'll get me just a little bit more of it. These are pretty easy jig to make. And they're deadly on these perch. So I'm going to show y'all something right here. Now I got my hair here. I want to adjust my length on this. I don't want it too long. And this hair down here on this end is really, really thick. And it's hard to tie in here on this hook shank. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to grab it like that. And I'm going to trim about that much off. I'm going to push that down around the shank of that hook. I'm going to give it one wrap. You can see how my thread tightened up back on that and I like to give it a little nudge up and you can see the hair cupping up here around this head a little bit now when I sew that uh, wrap that down tight it's gonna hold in there always does it to me I got one stray hair running wild there so I'm gonna wrap that tight wrap it up and I don't even care how much I build up here around that head I want it to build up to make that little center of that body look a little bit fuller in there. I'm going to add some red flash. That's just blood red flash. Put that around that head. Come back here. Wrap that in. Good. Right there, like so. Now, do the whip finish. I'm going to put five on it. Put about six or seven more. Right there. I'll clip that. One thing I'm going to do a little bit different here. Is I'm going to put the hardest nails on all that thread right there. I'm gonna pull that flash back there about even with the end of that hair and clip it back there. All right, there's our squirrel tail jig. Fox squirrel tail, orange disco head, red thread neck. We're fixing to go catch a fish on it. All right, there it is. That's the one I just made. We're fixing some test it out. Did it get behind him? Yep, there you are. There it is. Do it again.
All right, there it is right there. We got our orange, disco orange head, fox squirrel tail with some red flash. Turned on right here at dark, ain't they? Had one at 15 of them. I gotta get us back out in this deeper water. Nice. All right, what we're doing, we're catching these perch in a deep hole, about 25 foot of water here off the Washita River bottom up by you. And, uh, you can see here, you can see these perch are schooling. There's a few perch in here. There's one right here we're watching, but I want him to come up off of this shad a little bit. There's some shad down in this bottom of this hole. And what we're doing, we're catching, we're catching these fish that are suspending up here. We're catching these. They're anywhere from five foot down to about 12 foot here, just suspended above these shad. Like that one right there, you can see that one. Let's see if we can get him to bite. As soon as I dropped a jig on him, he went right back down in the shad. And if, what I've found, if they're, if they're down in that shad, you can't hardly get them to bite. Like they just won't commit to the jig as easy or whatever. Well, we're looking for those ones that are suspended up high, like this guy right here. He's he's catchable if he stays up there. Catchable. Hit him now at 25. If you miss him, then I get him. Got to chunk it now. You're on him. Get ready. He's coming. He's coming. He sees it. Up. Up. You got him? Yep. Oh, it's a big one. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't if you don't get him in the boat. Orange head, fox squirrel tail jig, hair jig. Yeah. Huh? Yep. On my favorite fishing pole now. <laughs> you ain't taking my fishing pole. Oh, yeah, I am. Where'd you get that fishing pole? It's made by Dylan Fine. Dylan Fine? What's yep. that say? Fine's handcrafted rods. Yep. It's a pretty nice little rod he made for me. Uh, you mean for me? Hold that, hold that. They still there? Yeah. Swing. Don't bump the boat. It would be you bumping the boat, babe. Got me. You got 20 and 25. Come on on up. Okay. You need to get the rock. I don't think it even saw it. Am I recording? Yep. Don't worry about recording. Worry about getting food in the boat. Do what now? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about recording. Worry about getting food in the boat. Yeah. Supportive wife here. Purchase. That right there.
after. Good mess of fish. We had a pretty good trip this evening. It's a quick afternoon fishing trip. Uh, it's January the 30th, 2022. We didn't have much time this evening. Uh, got on the water, started fishing about 3.30, 3.45, I think we caught our first fish. So we had less than two hours to fish till they quit biting. We caught a nice mess of fish, caught some good ones. That's gonna be it for this one. God's Country Hunting and Fishing, keeping it real.